Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant answering a question submitted by a student. Um, the question has to do with building a enclosure against a, a wall. And the, uh, the distance of the wall is 460, and they don't want the enclosure to cover the entire wall. And there we're instructed to write down a, a function or a formula for the length of the fencing that would be needed here. And you can see from the diagram that it's going to be x plus 2y. And we're told uh, that the area of the enclosure has to be 4,600 square feet. So that gives us x times y, which is the area is equal 4,600. So we're basically dealing with the, these two um, When we, when we get to B, <clears throat> part B, we want to write the uh, length of fencing as a function of X only. So we just replace X with 4,600 over Y. I mean, uh, excuse me, replace Y with 4,600 over X. So it's 4,600 over X times 2, and then it simplifies to that. Part C What's the domain of the function? Well, they're telling us, I mean, we have to have some fencing. So the bottom, the bottom limit would be zero. It has to be strictly greater than zero, not equal to zero. And we're told that the, uh, we can't use the entire wall of the, of the wall. We can't use the entire wall. We have to use it. So that makes X below 460. Okay, now I'm adding a D here because usually they would be asking for what's the best uh, value for X, what, what, uh, what's going to minimize the amount of fencing and still give us a 4,600 square foot enclosure. Now when you graph this thing, so put this on your calculator, um, it looks a little like this. Um, on the right, and then a little, and it's sort of the mirror image on the left. There's a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, which you can see, obviously, if x is zero, this function is undefined. And so what we didn't want to do is just use the calculator to find the minimum point here. And according to my calculator, I'm getting... 95, 95.8. So if we wanted to check this, we would just uh, find y now. Y, <clears throat> y we know is equal to 4,600 over x. So let's do that, 4,600. 4,600 divided by 95.8, and that gives me 48, even. So 48 times 95.8 is giving me 4,600 square foot enclosure, so that the x times y matches the 4,600. So this is the answer is found using a graphing calculator. You know, you could use Desmos online or some other online graphing calculator. You can use your, your Texas Instruments calculator and just find that. I mean, usually they're going to want this, so I'm just throwing this in here uh, because that's typically what they're going to want to know, what dimensions of this fencing are, are, are the, going to produce the, the square footage at the lowest cost. Okay, so that's it for this one. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.